more explosions this morning. The mood here today is tense. The streets are eerily quiet and people are adjusting to this new reality of living in a country now at war. Russia launching a large-scale attack as it starts to invade Ukraine. A volley of explosions echoing through the night sky over Kyiv. Russia's defense ministry claimed to have neutralized Ukraine's air defenses. Here in Kyiv, at least seven cruise missiles hit a military base outside the city. For weeks, Russia's been building up its military forces, piling on the pressure on the Ukrainian government. On Wednesday, a cyber attack on government sites and financial institutions. Then reports emerging, Russian troops amassing ever closer to the border. An appeal by rebels for Russian help. Within minutes of Vladimir Putin speaking, just after 5 a.m. local time, multiple attacks in regions across this country. I will stay with you. Just minutes before the attack, Vladimir Putin addressing the nation once more, declaring the start of what he called a special military operation in Ukraine aimed at the demilitarization of the country. Putin laying the groundwork for an invasion by recognizing two breakaway territories controlled by separatists sympathetic to the Kremlin as independent. But the magnitude of the attack making clear Putin's ambitions extend far beyond these regions. There were attacks in eastern and southern cities too. In Kharkiv, the country's second largest city that sits close to the Russian border. And an explosion in Dnipro, a city in the east. As the attack commenced, a remarkable split screen. As the UN Security Council huddled thousands of miles away in New York, convening yet another emergency meeting, diplomats decrying Russian aggression, but powerless to stop the assault. At the exact time as we are gathered in the council seeking peace, Putin delivered a message of war. I believe we are ready for opening statements. The trial of former Louisville police officer Brett Hankison, the only officer involved in the raid on Breonna Taylor's apartment to face criminal charges, now getting underway. Hankison is charged with wanton endangerment for firing shots during the raid that took Breonna Taylor's life nearly two years ago. He was dismissed months after the raid. The former chief of Louisville police saying Hankison fired, quote, blindly into Taylor's apartment. The debris started going past my head, my face, um, which... I pretty much knew, because I mean, I heard the shots, pretty much knew that it was uh, gunfire coming through the wall. None of those shots hit Taylor, but several bullets entered a neighbor's apartment, endangering Cody Etherton, his pregnant girlfriend, and their five-year-old child. Like one or two more inches and I would have been shot, uh, which kind of upsets me because I, I think about it all the time and I'm like, my son would have never even got to meet me, I would have never even got to meet my son. But Hankinson's attorney argued he was simply doing his job, defending his fellow officers conducting the raid. 